ではただいまより第一に新しい I would like to talk about the expanding of the social innovation business uh, with MADA. So, uh, the overall business uh, outlook uh, will be presented. Uh, this is the table of contents that I wish to cover. Uh, first of all, uh, the utilization of Hitachi's IoT platform, uh, the business model uh, will be explained first. Uh, the base uh, is a collaborative creation with the customers. Uh, this is where we hope to establish uh, new uh, values. It will be centered on data, and uh, it will be supported by the IoT platform, Domada. As you can see here, uh, the center uh, will have the data positioned, and uh, data accumulation as well as uh, the, uh, the management data uh, uh, IT uh, business have been pursued in the past. Uh, based on this skill, uh, we will be establishing uh, the IoT platform. Uh, AI will be utilized, analytics will be utilized. Uh, the uh, base uh, platform will be established, and utilizing this platform, uh, the front uh, will be uh, engaged in collaborative creation with the customers to create value. Uh, in terms of the front, uh, they will be active in various uh, business segments. Uh, OD, operational technologies, have been accumulated over the years. Uh, ID, as well as OD, surrounding uh, this uh, framework uh, will be utilized to uh, resolve the uh, questions for our customers. This is our uniqueness. Uh, we have ID and OD, as well as uh, collaborative creation with the uh, customers uh, on a one-stop basis, end-to-end uh, -end solutions can be offered. Uh, that is the strength of our company. Ultimately, uh, for all the business of Hitachi uh, Group uh, will be supported uh, by the uh, IoT platform, Lumada, uh, in engaging in collaborative creation with our customers. Next. I would like to uh, talk about uh, the current uh, view regarding the mother uh, business. Uh, within the midterm management plan of 2018, ultimately, uh, we want to deploy the mother uh, across the board. Uh, but uh, we have to also identify the steps uh, toward uh, monetization. That will be an important uh, target uh, for us. There are two business domains that are uh, important for us. Uh, please look at these four quadrants on the left-hand side. Uh, are the order made uh, business. On the right hand side, um, the uh, uh, end times business uh, or uh, the type of businesses uh, that uh, can scale up are shown. First of all, in terms of the order made uh, uh, business, where we will be engaged in uh, uh, collaborative creation, will be uh, focused on system integration. In reality, for five or six years, uh, we have been pursuing the social innovation business. Uh, ID and Times uh, Social Infrastructure uh, is the uh, business uh, that we have been uh, promoting. And this has uh, uh, become a scalable business for us. Uh, for social business, uh, IoT uh, will be uh, utilized. Uh, and this is what we're referring to as the Lumada SI business. And in fact, uh, uh, many of the Lumada technologies are incorporated in the Lumada SI business, uh, social infrastructure business uh, uh, are uh, covered extensively. There is also a different type of domain that we wish to uh, pursue, uh, which is referred to as the Lumada uh, core business. Uh, this is where we can increase scale. Uh, we will uh, establish a core solution. And uh, this uh, can be offered to many customers globally uh, in terms of economies of scales. Uh, compared to uh, the uh, Lumada SI business, uh, this is the, the core business that can be uh, enhanced in scale. 
digitalization is very important, and uh, we have uh, a good feeling about this. For 2016, uh, 120 billion has been achieved uh, in the Lumada core business. Uh, we want to grow this further. Uh, that uh, will be the objective of the Lumada core business. Uh, together with both these uh, domains, uh, we will be pursuing uh, digitalization within Hitachi. And for the 2018 midterm business plan, we will be focused on these two areas and uh, achieve uh, 1 trillion yen together uh, with these two domains. Uh, last month, uh, we have announced our results. Uh, we have also uh, provided information about the progress of the midterm management plan, and uh, this aspect of Lumada was also covered. Now, uh, the IoT platform Lumada. It has been explained on several occasions uh, in terms of uh, technology. I would not go into the details of the technology because uh, we have already given you uh, uh, several explanations. There are assets such as systems as well as uh, IT equipment of the customers. From here, uh, digital data will be uh, collected. The AI, state-of-the-art technologies, uh, will be utilized uh, to create values, uh, to provide solutions uh, to the management uh, challenges of our customers. As already mentioned on several times, the platform per se can be provided. And product can be provided. It's not just limited to that. Uh, we wish to engage in a collaborative creation. And the most important tool uh, will be the utilization of this platform. Therefore, uh, within SI, uh, integration has been utilized extensively. The uh, technologies uh, from SI have been integrated extensively. And on the part of the customers, uh, we can utilize uh, this as components as well. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, compel the platform per se to the customers. Uh, so it will be a combination uh, of uh, all these uh, components. Uh, by so doing, uh, we would like to optimize our architecture. Uh, for the more, I would like to talk about the monetization of the Lomada model. Let me give you a further explanation. Please refer to 2-1. Uh, this is referred to as the Lomada business growth model. As already mentioned, and basically, uh, there is one way uh, to monetize, which is through the SI business. And uh, as mentioned uh, under the core business, a solution template uh, can be established. And this template uh, can be uh, uh, provided uh, globally uh, in terms of uh, uh, enhancing scale. Another important uh, way of monetizing uh, is uh, to utilize the Lumada platform within the Hitachi Group. Uh, for the financial as well as management uh, indicators, the uh, Lumada uh, solution can be utilized. So there are three ways of monetizing uh, the Lumada business. And it is important to link uh, these three uh, components. Uh, that is the key concept uh, of monetization in terms of the Lumada SI business. As mentioned here, uh, we will establish a platform for customer data utilization and uh, applications can be uh, developed on top of that. This will become a use case for us. And then uh, this use case uh, can uh, be uh, multiplied uh, globally by a factor of n. And uh, that uh, will be the linkage toward the Lomada core business. And uh, the use case uh, that has been developed for the SI business and core business uh, can be deployed uh, within uh, the Hitachi group. Uh, therefore, uh, this will become a financial benefit uh, for the Hitachi group as well. Uh, within the Hitachi group, we have plants as well as production sites. And uh, we can bring uh, spa smart uh, technologies to our production site. Then we can establish a use case uh, which can be introduced uh, to customers outside, uh, which can be deployed uh, in the SI business as well as uh, core business. So it will serve as a, a wheel. And uh, based on these uh, use cases developed in the three domains, uh, we will uh, promote the Lomada business. And therefore, use case is extremely important. Uh, this is important for us as well as for our customers. The use case 
uh, or the customer cases so have been introduced as KPIs in the past. Uh, we have talked about revenue uh, on this occasion. Uh, therefore, uh, we will continue to uh, announce the uh, customer cases as well. But the KPIs uh, may not be disclosed uh, entirely to the outside. At any rate, uh, the customer case or the use case is extremely important asset for us as well as for our customers for 2016. There was about 200 uh, customer cases uh, developed, uh, which uh, uh, bore outcomes or which could be monetized. And we have uh, announced uh, the use cases or the customer cases to the outside as well. And uh, this is driving uh, the uh, collaborative creation at the front. Uh, please look at this pie chart. In terms of the use case, uh, the uh, outcomes that can be generated uh, are uh, shown as a breakdown here, as you can see here. Uh, in the area of ID IoT, uh, visualization of cost uh, is a very important uh, starting point. Uh, with the cost uh, visualization, uh, when there is a cost overrun, we can provide uh, alerts. Uh, this mechanism uh, can be enabled by IoT solutions. Uh, this is the basic form of uh, IoT solutions. Uh, this is area where we hope to monetize our business. For the more AI and other technologies uh, can be utilized for optimization uh, to drive uh, revenues further and uh, uh, also uh, reduce risk. Uh, so uh, it uh, is moving toward uh, further advancement. Uh, we will be involved uh, in a use case uh, demonstration with our customers. Uh, we hope that outcomes can be generated uh, so that the further monetization uh, can be uh, made uh, and uh, we can accumulate uh, more customer cases going forward. Now, I have uh, talked about the three ways that we can monetize SI, uh, core, and uh, the other is uh, the utilization of uh, Lomada within the Hitachi Group. Now, uh, let me further elaborate on the SI business. As mentioned here, for 2016, uh, it was about revenue was 780 billion yen. And uh, in terms, there is a, a lag in terms of uh, uh, the posting as well as uh, the orders received. But we hope that uh, this level can be maintained uh, going forward. As already mentioned, uh, IT and OD uh, have uh, been converged uh, within uh, Hitachi. Uh, we are the uh, front runner uh, in this area. And uh, various uh, technologies uh, in this area is uh, utilized within Lomada. And uh, if you look at the breakdown, uh, industry and distribution sectors uh, are very uh, significant. Industrial system field is very significant uh, in collaborative uh, creation. Uh, there are cases where SI has uh, been uh, utilized. Uh, but uh, data utilization uh, is important uh, in a flexible manner. Uh, big data for customers is becoming more important. Uh, they have uh, assets. Uh, therefore, there should be further utilization of uh, such data. Uh, this will be driving uh, investment uh, for our customers. Uh, that is uh, where we hope to receive more orders. And I believe uh, that uh, innovative uh, use cases uh, can be developed in this area. Therefore, we will continue focus in this area. On the other hand, the Mana's uh, core business uh, uh, should be able uh, to be scaled. That's the nature of the business. So we're feeling traction there. In terms of scaling up the business, uh, this has uh, the most potential. So after uh, launching Lumada business, uh, we've always thought that uh, this would be critical. And so uh, we're seeing uh, traction. And this will be led by the front uh, business units. Uh, digital solutions uh, will be scaled up uh, through co-creation with uh, customers. Uh, and. In fiscal year 2016, uh, the revenue uh, was 120 billion, and uh, so the biggest point is to drive sales further, drive revenue uh, further. And there are uh, three policies uh, to drive uh, revenue. First of all, on a global basis, we would like to scale up uh, this business. That becomes crucial. For that to happen, 
global front uh, functions uh, must be uh, reinforced so that uh, scaling up uh, becomes possible. There are two major patterns or types. One is as uh, described as type one here, uh, the customer's assets. And of course, we need to have expertise uh, on customer's assets. And through digital uh, technologies, we can help customers uh, increase the efficiency of uh, their asset management. Now, another approach is uh, to leverage Hitachi's uh, products uh, to provide IoT solutions. For type one, Hitachi Consulting, a global company, and uh, regional entities. They serve as a global front, and uh, they're focusing on this uh, area. Now, type two, each BU uh, will be driving uh, this type of uh, business. Uh, centering around uh, Hitachi's uh, products. And uh, the platform uh, that we have is going to support such efforts. And policy number two is as follows. Inclusive of uh, global front activities, basically, through Hitachi channels, uh, we would like to provide services and technologies uh, to customers uh, to monetize. At the same time, Uh, from external uh, channels, uh, we have uh, had uh, demand uh, to sell uh, the platform. So we're responding to such uh, demand, and I will elaborate on that later. Now, policy number three, uh, we have an office in Silicon Valley, and uh, centering around North America, we are hiring human resources uh, so that we can be ahead uh, of uh, the rest of the world. and. Uh, so IoT, human resources uh, development, uh, becomes uh, very important. And uh, we're making uh, good progress uh, there. We're quite confident. Uh, in fiscal year 2016, last fiscal year, we hired several hundred uh, top uh, talents. And chief architect uh, Rob Tiffany is uh, cited as an example. He. Uh, was responsible for uh, zero IoT technology at uh, Microsoft, uh, Cisco, and other uh, companies, uh, top-notch companies uh, in this area. Uh, we are uh, hiring people from such uh, top-notch companies. And uh, so our track record, I believe, is being uh, evaluated highly by these uh, uh, talents who are specializing in the engineering area. I said type one and type two with respect to the global front activities. So increasing efficiencies of uh, customer asset management. Uh, that was uh, one of the approaches I talked about. Uh, and let me elaborate. Promote regionally the collaborative creation with customers and to deploy digital solutions. Now, uh, Hitachi consulting example in the United States is uh, given here. This is a, a solution that is scaled up uh, to maintain water quality. So at the starting point, uh, we start co-creating, uh, collaborating uh, with uh, our customers. And uh, this is an example where we are collaborating with a beverage uh, company. What was uh, the customer's challenge? Uh, unless water quality is maintained, uh, the product that they produce uh, will have odor or smell, and that would, of course, lead to a huge loss. So how can that uh, problem be minimized and alleviated? That was uh, the major challenge before them. So we made a proposal. Uh, there are a lot of uh, water-related assets at the production plant. So uh, through IoT technology, information can be collected uh, from such facilities uh, to allow for the maintenance of water quality and uh, also to visualize the cost uh, that's associated with uh, uh, water. Uh, so that was what we made as a proposal. And this was highly rated uh, by the customer, and they decided to apply uh, our approach uh, to the site. Uh, demonstration was made, uh, results were produced, and uh, the customer is applying this on a global uh, basis because they have so many plants around the world. At the same time, water quality 
uh, is having a direct relevance uh, on the quality of uh, the products. There are quite a number of such customers uh, who have uh, the same problem. Uh, waterworks, as well as food uh, manufacturers, and uh, pulp and paper manufacturers also share the same problem. And we're receiving increasing number of orders uh, from such customers. So by applying this approach that we have uh, proposed, uh, this business uh, is being uh, scaled up. And uh, by expanding this business, uh, uh, we are monetizing on this. Now, outside of Hitachi channels, utilizing external channels, uh, we're engaged in the sales of platform. I would like to touch upon this. Last fiscal year, in the IR meeting and the small meeting that we convened, I received uh, several questions uh, on this. Why is uh, Hitachi not selling the platform? And uh, back then, we said that we're not going to sell outside. Uh, but after a year, well, Lumada uh, is designed uh, so that different components uh, can be combined in a different way, depending on the need. Uh, we're uh, hearing that there's a demand uh, for combining different components uh, from Lumada. So we're starting to respond to such demand. As is described here, uh, the size of the business uh, is shown. Uh, it's growing very rapidly. Growth rate is very high. And in order to help uh, Lumada's investment uh, uh, recovery, uh, recruit the investment, uh, and uh, uh, to clarify use cases, we believe that this is going to be important. And uh, this will offer us increased opportunity to work with uh, external parties. And so uh, we have decided to respond to uh, this need. And the third monetization model is uh, to uh, promote the use of Lumada within Hitachi Group. Uh, starting from 2015, we started uh, to embrace uh, uh, this uh, digital technology. As you may know, we've had Hitachi Smart Transformation Project. In short, we call this uh, Smart Tra. And uh, uh, through this uh, project, uh, we have been improving uh, on cost. And uh, starting from 2015, uh, uh, we have actively uh, started to utilize uh, digital technology. Uh, so utilizing uh, a smart technology and AI, uh, we created workplaces within the group. So different uh, companies within the group uh, have taken part. So that their supply chains can be made uh, more efficient end to end uh, through the use of AI and analytics. And they have uh, been producing uh, tangible results. There are many other initiatives uh, under Hitachi Smart Transformation Project combined with other uh, initiatives, uh, uh, results are being uh, delivered, uh, including uh, improvement of CCC as described here. So we would like to uh, further uh, utilize uh, Lumada within the group. Uh, we're seeing increasing number of use cases uh, within the group. Uh, for example, bringing uh, smart technologies uh, to production sites. Uh, there are other examples as well within Hitachi plants and uh, works. We have so much actual data. That is one of our strengths. So by leveraging uh, the data, uh, we are verifying the value uh, and reducing the lead time of uh, the production process, uh, we have accumulated about 30 use cases, uh, which we disclose externally. And of course, uh, these use cases will be applied uh, elsewhere within the group. And at the same time, we disclose this, uh, publish this uh, to outside our group. So uh, we're having many visitors from outside uh, who come to uh, take a look at our, our plants, and that is turning into a new core business. So because uh, we have actual production sites, and we would like to leverage uh, what we can gain out of that even more. Page uh, uh, 17, 3-1. I would like to talk about the business promotion framework. So we have... Uh, the platforms, services, and platforms business unit, where I serve as uh, the CEO. 
It is responsible uh, for the provision and development of the service. On the front side, Chief Alumada officer has been appointed uh, by uh, President Higashara. Uh, in short, it's CLO. So CLO is responsible uh, for implementing the monetization model. And uh, CLO leads uh, the front business units for Lumada. And as I mentioned, uh, the Global Front's regional entities are working with uh, Hitachi Consulting uh, to drive uh, the global business. Uh, platform uh, products from BU, Global Front, uh, 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 they are all connected uh, by Social Innovation Business uh, Division. So that is the structure of the framework uh, that uh, we use uh, to promote uh, Lumada and Hitachi's business. And I look forward to your kind uh, understanding and cooperation for that going forward. So I talked about the Lumada business and uh, centering around the Lumada business. In fiscal year 2018, we would like uh, uh, to bring the Lumada business uh, revenue to 1 trillion yen. And with that as uh, uh, the lead, uh, Hitachi uh, should uh, leverage Lumada even more and digitize its business uh, increasingly. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. I would now like to move to uh, Q&A. And uh, in addition to uh, Mr. Uh, Kojima, we will have uh, Mr. Eiji Moriyama, uh, Senior Director of uh, Finance Management Office of System and Services Business Division, to answer the questions. Uh, please uh, wait for the microphone to be brought to you and, uh, uh, and state your name and affiliation before asking a question. The floor is now open. A question. I have three questions. Uh, first question is uh, regarding uh, the uh, scale up uh, toward the uh, monetization. What is the time frame in which you can achieve this? In terms of the Lumada core business, uh, the profit margin uh, is not being disclosed. But uh, I understand that uh, when you are accumulating uh, use cases, uh, it seems that uh, that will be a uh, front-loaded investment uh, where you're not making money. And when use cases are accumulated, uh, you can establish a template uh, which will then unleash opportunities uh, for uh, profit generation. Or is it uh, 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 where you can uh, generate profits from the beginning? And uh, in um, developing the uh, template, uh, oh, how are you going to overcome the issue of uh, IP? Uh, in terms of uh, scaling up your business? Uh, answer. Let me respond to each question one by one. First of all, thank you for your question. And in fact, uh, that is uh, where we are s struggling with in terms of the time frame. Uh, in terms of SI business, uh, it tends to be long and for engagement. Now, uh, in the uh, core business, uh, uh, it takes about three months to six months uh, in terms of engagement. And then we can decide uh, uh, whether monetization is possible. Uh, speed uh, is of the essence here. Now, during this uh, period, uh, we are engaged in POC. And at that time, whether we can monetize or not uh, uh, is a question. There is a paid POC uh, recently, uh, which is uh, uh, charged available to us. Uh, it isn't as if we want to make uh, significant profits there, but uh, the cost plus alpha uh, can be a charge to the customers. Now, in terms of establishing the template to deploy uh, further, uh, the SI business uh, uh, profit structure is uh, undergoing significant change. We will uh, reorganize this, and I hope that uh, we can talk about uh, profit margins uh, uh, in the future. But uh, in a nutshell, uh, gross margins are uh, always high, but uh, SGNA is also very high as well. So multiplication by N uh, is going to be very uh, time consuming. Uh, the balance, however, is uh, undergoing significant change. Uh, we are making uh, a significant investment in terms of developing our uh, platform. But if, and if we subtract that, uh, profit margin is very uh, large. And the scale up uh, uh, domain is where we are focused on uh, going forward. Now, in terms of uh, IP uh, in the contract, as you have rightly mentioned, 
uh, this is where we are most sensitive uh, in terms of uh, writing contracts. Uh, at the time of first uh, engagement, uh, we un have to identify whether it is going to scale up uh, or not. And uh, in the cases where we can hope for a uh, scale up, uh, we have to be very careful uh, to make input uh, and uh, take into consideration IP uh, implications. So we have to listen to the customers and make sure uh, that uh, uh, contract terms uh, are appropriate. That's all. Uh, second uh, question number two, uh, regarding uh, the uh, profit structure, uh, you said that the service uh, business is going to be increased. I think uh, that is a company-wide uh, effort. Uh, in terms of water example that you have uh, provided, it seems that uh, when system is introduced, uh, business will be uh, developed uh, and uh, profit uh, can be generated as well. That seems to be the case. Or is it uh, that uh, you want to make money in terms of uh, operation uh, control? If it's a, uh, the conventional SI system will be introduced, uh, profit will be generated, and uh, several years down the road, there could be renewal. But uh, I don't think uh, it uh, was a service-based uh, business. Uh, but uh, according to the example you have uh, said, uh, talked about, it doesn't seem to be uh, very different. Answer, in terms of uh, a business, uh, in the case of uh, water, there will be some integration that uh, has occurred. Pumps, uh, products uh, are delivered as well, such as pumps. And then maintenance, uh, service uh, delivery uh, can be provided. And for this area, uh, we wish to increase uh, the latter half, uh, the recurring uh, uh, income is what we would like to uh, increase uh, in the future. However, in order to achieve this, we have to consider inorganic uh, initiatives as well, because we have to provide the services globally. Uh, Similar to the uh, example that I have explained, uh, we have to have a uh, uh, basis uh, globally. Uh, but uh, we are not very strong in terms of uh, resources, in terms of Hitachi uh, consulting. Uh, we have uh, SI resources, but uh, in terms of providing services thereafter, we need to uh, ramp up uh, uh, resources. On the part of the customers, Uh, we can have uh, we can provide uh, out, uh, services that are outsourced from the customers, but beyond that, uh, we need to uh, increase our resources in terms of uh, enhancing our global front. Uh, that uh, is an initiative that we'll have to bear in mind. A question: If you can deploy uh, Nomada, is it going to be automatic expansion of services or uh, initial uh, um, additional measures will be required? Is that the case? Answer: uh, In terms of delivering the services. Uh, the resources uh, will be required uh, for delivering such uh, services. It isn't as if everything is automatic with the platform. Um, we need resources, not just the platform. So uh, additional measures will be required. Question. Uh, my last question is regarding uh, um, your competitive edge vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis, uh, the other companies. Uh, obviously, uh, if you have more use cases, you will be more competitive. And I think it's very important at the very start of uh, the race uh, compared to GE and uh, competition with uh, such companies. Uh, you have the OD uh, domain, uh, but in terms of oil and gas, if we look at that uh, specific area, uh, GE uh, has uh, a stronger products uh, internally. Uh, this is just one example. But uh, in terms of uh, uh, instances where uh, the competitors have better products, how are you going to uh, compete? Or are you going to avoid uh, such an area and uh, stick to areas where you are strong? Is that the case? How will you manage this going forward? Answer. I believe uh, I have uh, touched upon this uh, several occasions, whether it be GE or Siemens. Uh, they have Mindsquare, and they have also uh, other uh, similar uh, platforms. But we have uh, introduced a monetization model, and I think you have better understanding, and uh, our view is different. Uh, and in fact, uh, I'm explaining this uh, at the customer's site. And we have the difference is the following. Uh, using the platform for a collaborative creation is unique to the industry. This is where we are different. 
uh, GE and Siemens uh, are focused on products and uh, they are providing a platform to sell their products and uh, having as many partners on the platform as much as possible uh, so that the more products uh, can be sold. I think that's their business model. But uh, we are different. We are a solution vendor and we are very strong in terms of the integration business and we want to leverage this. Uh, engage and collaborative creation with the customers uh, is the first and foremost priority for us. Now, uh, in this case, um, there are two types uh, uh, that uh, I mentioned in terms of the policy. Um, customer's asset is very important. Uh, that means that uh, other companies' products are included as well. A second is uh, um, the uh, Hitachi's products. There are type 1 and type 2 in policy 1. So uh, the knowledge of uh, competitors' products uh, to provide the appropriate solution is very important uh, in terms of identifying areas where we want to scale up. For example, a GE it may have their product, a Siemens have their own products. To maintain their products, uh, um, whether we are stronger, uh, is not so clear. So that is not the uh, area that we are focused on. But uh, customers uh, have many assets, and there are many customers that have a wide array of products. These are the types of customers we want to approach first and foremost. For type 2, after my presentation, uh, CEOs of other BUs uh, will uh, talk about uh, their businesses. And uh, utilizing uh, digital technologies such as Lumada, uh, they want to provide uh, more products and services to our customers. And I think uh, they will outline their strategies. So please listen to them when they make their presentation. I'm sorry to be questioned. Regarding type 1 and type 2, 290 billion uh, may be achieved. Is it going to be half and half uh, in terms of breakdown between type 1 and 2? What is the image? It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, answer, there is no breakdown yet. What I have in mind uh, is type 1 uh, is proceeding uh, the, in terms of process. In terms of digitalization, uh, applications uh, are fast in this area. But uh, for uh, the Hitachi group overall, looking at the portfolio overall, I think uh, there will be significant uh, uh, ramp up of type 2 as well. No, it could be uh, in the next midterm business, um, mid business plan after 2018. I think uh, type 2 uh, is going to become more prevalent. That's my vision. Thank you. It's uh, past uh, the time, but uh, we would like to take the last uh, question. I see a hand in the third row. Question. I have uh, two questions. Uh, in comparison to GE and uh, Siemens, Hitachi's IoT personnel uh, 6,000 uh, worldwide, and GE has 20,000 employees uh, engaged in IoT. In comparison to GE, how are you going to uh, pursue and operate your IoT business? Answer. I'm not well versed uh, in what other competitors are doing, but uh, services and uh, platform business unit that uh, I head up. Uh, there are 21,000 employees uh, within the unit. Hitachi data systems, uh, data storage, software services, uh, uh, those uh, personnel will be included as part of the unit and uh, uh, data will be uh, at the heart of the business. Uh, there's very high level of affinity. And so uh, that will be the size of the unit, uh, from business unit and global front uh, on the front side. IoT-related personnel uh, will uh, also work. Uh, considering the number of employees or human resources, uh, we have to monetize the business and strike the right balance. Uh, as we utilize the personnel, that becomes crucial. Our base business. The foundation of our uh, business uh, must be uh, leveraged uh, as uh, we pursue this uh, business. So in that regard, we believe that the strategy that we have is a global and well-balanced one. 
Now, uh, what is the size that's required at the front? Uh, is there an idea? Well, the President uh, is talking about uh, a rough uh, figure, around 20,000 or so. Uh, question. Now, with respect to the revenue target, 1.05 trillion in 2018, uh, that's an increase of 150 billion compared to 2016. In fiscal year 2018, uh, Lumada related business, uh, uh, 4 trillion, that's an increase of 400 billion. So, uh, how should we interpret these numbers? Lumada related, IoT related, front revenue to be brought to 4 trillion. I think that's been the target. Answer. Uh, in terms of the front uh, revenue, Hitachi has a revenue of uh, 9 to 10 trillion. 40 billion uh, comes from SI and others, the front business, and 60% comes from our product business. So that is uh, the rough uh, split of uh, our portfolio. That is uh, the approximate uh, breakdown, the front side and the product side uh, from both. Uh, we are uh, developing a Lumana business, and that is the breakdown. I hope that that is understood. Question. So this is a different numerical target? Answer. Lumada's uh, business target, uh, we have uh, come up with that and disclosed that for the first time. Question. So IoT business revenue target of four trillion, that's a separate uh, target. And uh, this time you're uh, talking about Lumada only business target? Answer. Uh, I think the number that you have cited is uh, for the front business overall. Uh, that is my understanding. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we would like to bring this session to a close. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone.